Oh, well, hello there. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. Welcome back, gents. Found the video. It's Friday, which means you should be happy, which means you can drop a thumbs up because there's a new series coming every single Friday, which means I'm going to help you, which means you can help me. And that was fucking. Uh, that was off the top of the head. I apologise, boys. Anyway, welcome back. We're going to go for a brand new series on Fridays, as I just said. And we're going to roll out this one by. I'm going to suggest five guns that you should be trying in Call of Duty World of War 2 if you've not already tried them or you have tried them and patches have come out and you've maybe dropped a gun and thinking, nah, this is bullshit. I'm here to sort of um, aye, bit in the fucking door and help you out here because that's what it's going to be, boys. I'm going to be the one to help you and obviously you can help me and let's get this shit started. So, first gun you're really going to want to try out is this M2 carbine. I was lucky enough, I've got two of these now, supply drops, big up sledgehammer, again. I see you fam, sometimes sometimes it is the AI, but sometimes again, you're my boy in the home court. M2 Carbine's the first one we're going to go for, it's a 3 hit kill at pretty much every distance, bar close range. Uh, you're obviously going to want to do what I'm doing here, which is no have shit accuracy. You're going to really want to just sort of take, take it back boys, alright, you're just going to chill out, relax, alright, and take your time with this gun. And then obviously, when you get to close distances like that, pray like fuck, this boy's spawn was bullshit, even though it was a 3 hit kill. Second one's going to be the Grease Gun, uh, the two community events ago we got the Rosie 2 variant. Put that on, it's pretty good iron sights. If you didn't like that, go back to the original Grease Gun or the Roxy's got okay iron sights as well. Chuck that on, it's a pretty high damage SMG. Maze folk didn't use it though, just because it's slow fire rate, but to be honest with you, slow fire rate's not even that bad to be fair. You look at pretty much all the semi autos in this game, they're all really high damage, but obviously, semi auto boys, come on, give it a chance boys, give it a chance. Next suggestion is going to be the SVT-40. When this game first released, it was fucking horrendous. It was absolutely shocking. Still a two hit kill. It was still a two hit kill, but you just couldn't really aim for shit because the recoil was fucking ridiculous on it. Now it's been patched. Not even patched, I guess it's been... Like, the recoil's been fucking toned down. You can use it, boys, and it's fucking golden. After that, we're going to go for the M1 Garand, which I've never really seen that much because... Fuck knows, people never really use it. I'm going to suggest that it's still a two hit kill as well, and it's a DMR, you can't really be, it's the most iconic gun, come on there boys, come on. Last but not least boys, th this might surprise a couple of folk, the M30 Lutwaff drilling. Boys it's a shotgun, and everybody thinks a combat shotgun's the way forward, mm mm, mm mm, let me tell you now, no sorry boys, I'm telling you, M30 Lutwaff drilling, they're going to want to put that on, fuck the incense shells, you don't need incense shells anymore, you just run up, advanced rifling, you steady aim a motherfucker. That's it boys. <laughs> I have nothing else to give you, I'm sorry, I'm out. I'm out boys. If you did enjoy this, it's just gonna be under five minutes. Did enjoy it. Give me a wee give me a wee thumbs up boys and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.